You're listening to the soothing sounds of the PLA on the Snowplow Show. Thank you for calling apartments. This is Jessica. Hey, Jessica. Uh, this is Lieutenant Tuck Pendleton. I'm calling you from the International Space Station up in space. You know, no, you're not. Yeah, I am. What are you talking about? No, I'm not. Why would I lie about that? <laughs> How can I help you? Uh, well, I dropped a socket wrench. I was doing a spacewalk, and I think it landed in the like the courtyard area of your apartments there. Could you go check? Seriously? Yeah. I know. I'm sorry. It's so inconvenient. It's like a it's like a standard size socket wrench, and it um it says property of NASA on it. It's like a, stamped on it. This isn't a joke? No, not at all. I, why would I joke about this? Oh, it, because it just totally sounds like a joking phone call. Oh, no, 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 ma'am. No, not at all. It's just, uh, <laughs> you, it, it's like property of NASA. I don't think, you, you know, like, I, I don't want someone to pick it up and it ends up on eBay. It's like oh, okay. It's made of titanium and yeah. <laughs> okay. probably space radiation um, on it. Yeah, I'll have to just do a, do a walk, around, walk around my premises. Okay. And then how can I reach you to oh, let hold. you know that I found it? I can hold. Oh, it's going to take me longer. It's four buildings on this property. Oh, I see. Okay. It's probably glowing. You know, it's been through space. It survived the, the re-entry and everything, and it's probably mm-hmm. red hot and, and is uh, radioactive. But it's not dangerous. Okay. It's just radioactive. Don't, 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 okay, so don't. obviously don't touch it. Oh, no, you can touch it. Maybe just uh, pick it up with a handkerchief or something. Um, okay. All right. I, I could just call back, like, um, I don't know, like an hour or something? Um, yeah, maybe like in 20 minutes or so, that should be just fine. Okay. Well, thank you so much for checking, ma'am. Yeah, and what's your name again? Uh, my name is Lieutenant Tuck Pendleton from the International Space Station. Okay. Well, you guys can really zero in then and see where things fall then, huh? Yeah, yeah. I, I was looking through binoculars, and I can see straight down there, and I saw that it landed. It's, like, right in the middle of the buildings. Like, how the buildings are arranged is kind of, like, right in the center, kind of. Okay. Um, yeah, give me... Uh, so it's okay to touch it even though it's radioactive? I don't know if I feel comfortable. Oh, it, no, it's a different kind of radiation. No, it's fine. Oh, okay. It, it's like the kind of radiation that you get from turning on, on an incandescent light bulb. Okay. <laughs> so it's fine. It's fine. It's probably all cooled off by now anyway. <laughs> okay, I'll go uh, take a look, and if you just want to give me a call back in 20 minutes, I'll let you know if I found it. Okay, 20 minutes. Thank you so much, ma'am. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, what was your Bye. name again? My name's Jessica. Okay, thank you so much, Jessica. Yep, Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for calling my apartment. This is Jessica. Hey, Jessica. It's Lieutenant Tug Pendleton again from the space station. Yeah, hi. Hey, did you happen to find that socket wrench? I did not at all. Oh, man. Huh, okay. Yeah, unless, yeah, and I, and I walked every, you know, around all of our buildings. Yeah. Unless you can let me know exactly where you're seeing it, then I can go see it oh we've we've uh at this point we've passed by so i can't even look down there anymore with my binoculars but it seemed like it was out in the middle i wonder if maybe a resident found it and picked it up maybe you could maybe you could send out emails or a poster or something like ask all the residents if they found nasa's socket wrench (laughs) um it says i I, yeah i i looked around and just didn't didn't see anything Okay, well, you know, if, yeah. if it turns up, do you think you can give me a call back at the number on your caller ID? Um, I don't have a caller ID. Oh, okay. Well, I have the number here. Okay. Um, it's uh, area code 321, and then uh, uh, the phone number is 420-6969. That, that's the direct line to the space station. Just ask for Tuck. Oh, okay. Um, when you were looking down to... Um it wasn't in a parking lot. You said it was in the grass. Yeah, I thought it was in the. It looked like grass from up here. Yeah. Okay. Because I yeah I checked all of my grass areas. Yeah, it's hard to tell because from space grass is blue and and parking lots are more of like a, a green gray. It's it's hard to tell oh. the difference sometimes. Okay. Okay. Well, th- um, thank you so much for yeah. looking. I really appreciate the help. Oh yeah, you're welcome. Sorry, I, I couldn't locate it oh, for it's, you. Oh, it's no problem. Either way, you've you've served your country, and 
We're very <laughs> proud of you. <laughs> okay, well, have fun up in space. Okay, thanks. Have fun <laughs> down there not being in space. It must be boring. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Pendleton, away! Hello. Thanks, Jesus Penis, for that brand new intro song. That was pretty great. Hey, everybody, you're listening to The Snowplow Show. This is episode 824. It's brought to you by Teen Wolf Jesus, Sean L., Brown Magic, Woozy, and Kyle G. They support us over at patreon.com slash phone losers, which is exactly what you should do if you're not doing that. I have a question from several listeners. Several people have asked me if I have prank call collections by Jin Stewart, and my answer to that is no. Uh, they also want to know if I have prank call collections by Frank Garrett. These are just like emails I get or comments on YouTube. And if enough people ask, eventually I'll write it down. So can anybody out there tell me where to get Jin Stewart calls? Does he have a YouTube or something? I didn't even search. And then Frank Garrett, that's an old one, right? Is he the one that's always like, why are you calling me up and worrying me? I remember an old man said that to me once. I don't think it was Frank Garrett, but is that who that is? I don't really know who Frank Garrett is. I've heard the name and I think that's just one of those prank callers that I missed and I never really listened to. Somebody tell me if you know where to get Frank Garrett. You can just leave a comment or send an email. I'm just trying to help people find the prank callers that they love. I just did a search in my prank calls directory from the giant prank call torrent that I put together a few years ago, and I don't see any Frank Garrett. I see Frank Rizzo, and I see Jason David Frank, but no Frank Garrett. So somebody tell me who that is. Tell me where to find him. Maybe we can track these people down there, and I can cross that off of my show notes list of things that I need to mention. I'm getting way down on the list to where I can just delete a lot of this stuff because it doesn't matter anymore. I've got news stories here. Remember when I used to do news stories? stories. Oh shit, that actually reminds me. I was going to do a news story this week, but I don't really care to read it. There's just this bizarre thing that happened up in space that, you know, it's a thing that I thought I made up that just is something that couldn't happen, but it happened. Some NASA astronauts were doing a spacewalk and repairing some stuff and they dropped their tool bag and now their tool bag is 
I guess I haven't read any of these articles, but I assume the tool bag is in orbit around the planet right now. And you can actually see it with a pair of binoculars if you're in the right place. And if you know where the tool bag is, remember the old prank where I told the lady I dropped a socket wrench while I was out doing a spacewalk and it fell in her yard. Or I think that was an I'm going to play that as the uh, beginning prank call today. So you've heard it. You know what I'm talking about. Once again, prank calls become reality. Just like all the people who come home from work and their houses are torn down because some stupid construction company got the wrong address. That's all my fault, I think. I'll try to put a link to that story in the show description, but it's been posted about a billion times on Reddit and the Facebook group and and my email. I think that's the main reason I used to do these stories is so people would stop emailing me the same story over and over and over. I've heard about the NASA toolbox, you guys, okay? On today's show, I have some prank calls from yesterday. I know I was supposed to do two shows last week like I promised, but I didn't. I tried. I tried to do uh, calls on Saturday and Sunday, and I succeeded on Sunday. You know, I made a bunch of calls, and that's what you're about to hear. But I meant to get the show out last week, so I still owe you all another show from not doing a show about a week ago. I actually owe you guys several shows from this year. I am way behind. I know this, and I'm sorry. So expect two shows this week, but then, you know, also expect to be very disappointed at the end of the week when it doesn't happen. But no, it's going to happen for sure this week. I'm going to catch up and do an extra show and do some other things. And I'm going to get my shit together. That's the plan. I've got a list here that was sent in by Jim. It's a list of classified ad phone numbers. They are a few months old, but that may make the calls even funnier that you waited so long to call. That's what Jim says. I included other information, so if the item they listed isn't available, were the numbers wrong, you can take the prank in another direction, like a phone number change or whatever. So, okay, this is a spreadsheet. It's got 35 uh, listings on it. Let's see how many you're going to pick up. Hello? Hey, you still got those four tires for sale? No, I do not. I don't know how that's still on there. Oh, it's uh, it's still sorry. on there, no, you, I, you son of a bitch! You need to take that down. Well, I already did. I, I canceled it. Which, what? Okay, where'd you see it? Why at? is it still up there? Where'd you put it at? Well, I put it on buy sell trade. On the what? Buy sell trade. Oh, is that a paper magazine or pa- newspaper? No, it's a it's an app here. Who oh. am I talking to? Ah, uh, this is Roy. So listen to your buddy. Okay. You just take that down. Well, like, don't be offering stuff that you, you've already sold. That's dumb. Well, it, I took it down as far as I was concerned. You're making this whole uh, app look like a, it's run by a bunch of hobos. Yeah. Okay. No, I had it on my cell trade and it said uh, uh, I deleted it. You so son of I don't a bitch. know what the heck. You son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> So, no, I, yeah, I had all the tire. No, they were sold a long time ago. Okay, fine. Uh, to be, okay, to, well, I'm going to look it up and see. To be honest, I was just going to get your address. I was going to come over there, and I was going to kiss you on the mouth. <laughs> Whatever. You can just kiss me on my ass as far as I'm concerned. But <laughs> uh, which would you prefer? I mean, I don't know. I feel like uh, I feel I, like mouth kissing is more intimate. And uh, I, I can look into your I eyes while you, I, I, think, I think you need to hang up and go look for some tires there somewhere else. Well, no, I'm just saying I can look into your eyes while I kiss you slowly. You know, and uh, take I a can good, cr- take crush- a good hike and uh, drag what? your tail. Okay, bye. What? <laughs> drag my tail? Okay, like I said, I don't know where these are from, but he told me they're from an app that's uh, related to where he lives. But then this list is in two or three or four different states. So did he find local apps for all of these places? I don't know. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Leave me a message as fast as you can. Well, that was awesome. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or... I'm going to guess that her name was Patty, and she thinks she's super clever. She was selling a Betty Boop purse, by the way. Somehow I'm not surprised after hearing that message. Hello. Hey, I was calling about your uh, hey. la- large black leather vest. Okay. Uh, I don't have that anymore. What? <laughs> yeah, I took it. I uh, wasn't getting any phone calls on it, so I I uh, took it down to the uh, saving chair. You son of a bitch. <laughs> so I was going to buy that. You were? Yeah. Well, 
I had it posted for over a month. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm actually kidding with you. This, this is uh, Steve Dave over at the Save and Share. Yeah. And uh, somebody came in and stole that black leather vest. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And it looked an awful lot like you. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> maybe maybe you should bring that, I... bring that back. <laughs> well, I don't have it here. You don't want to have to call the authorities on you. Well, where'd you put it after you came in and and uh, you know picked it up and ran out of the store with it really fast? Um, because I dropped I dropped off in the back there. I dropped off some denim jackets and that leather vest. Yeah. Thought so where it went from there. I do not have any idea. Well, we had it in the store here, and then someone I mean it was you looked just like you and came in and. And took off with it. Well, it wasn't me. <laughs> are, you, are you sure? Because yeah, yeah, you, you kind of sound like a thief. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not no thief. I'll tell you that. You're not no thief. That's a double negative, meaning you are a thief. Nice try <laughs> trying to trick me. Where are you going? I'm going in the house. Oh, I thought you were going out to your car to... Retrieve the black leather vest out of the trunk or wherever you put it. No, no. <laughs> okay. Because I don't have it here. Yeah, right. So, anyway, who am I talking to? Uh, this is Steve Dave. Just, yeah? Just like I said before. Well, I don't know who it was that supposedly came in and, and took it and ran out of the store with it because it wasn't me. They left a note behind. It says Delmar was here. Well, I don't know who don't know who that was. Oh. Yeah. Who's that? Huh? Who's that in the background? I got I, I got my I got my kids here. Oh, tell them to shut the fuck up, please. So you're on the phone. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anyway. I, I love you and I'm hanging up. All right. All right. Bye. Hurry up and hang, hang yeah. up. Hang up faster. Faster, faster. Go, 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 go. Get the fuck out of here. You son of a bitch. Hang up. I hear you breathing. And I hear your uh, noisy ass kids in the background. Okay. I'll hang up. These calls are not going well. Sorry, Jim. At least we're getting some of them to pick up, though. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, are you still looking for that uh, stationary bike, exercise bike? Uh, no, I'm not. Okay, you're not getting another one? Well, I got one, yes. Yeah, well, I sold you the one. Oh, okay. But I, I didn't know. If, are, are you, did you get a, like a, a different one that's better or something? Because I've, sure, I've been watching the mileage on your uh, stationary bike there that I sold you. And you're not using it that much, ma'am. <laughs> How can you watch my... Who is this? Oh, it hooks up to your Wi-Fi. It is? Yeah, yeah. So I just... I see how much it gets used every day. I mean, you'll get on there sometimes and just ride for like like two minutes. What's that all about? I don't think that's any of your business. Okay, well, I'm just... I'm concerned about your health. You know, you, you bought the exercise bike. Now you're not even using sure, it. Sure, I don't. I think I want to. I don't know you. I don't want to talk to you. And please take. Yeah, I'm going to see about taking that off my. So you can't tell. Oh, okay? don't do that. Are you doing? Yeah. Are you doing like jumping jacks or or crunches? It's none of your business. It's none of your business. Well, what what other exercise are you doing? You're, you're sure not using the bike that much. No, she's going to be looking all over that thing for the hidden GPS. I wonder if it's even a powered bike. Here's someone offering a piano and a chairlift. What the fuck is a chairlift? Hello, this is Vaughn. Hey, uh, do you still have your piano available? Uh, no. We do have a chairlift, though. Uh, Not the piano. What's a chairlift? Is that like the thing that takes you up the stairs? Yeah, it's um, about nine and a half feet long. Jesus Christ. Motherfucking shit. Goddamn. That's long. I don't think I have stairs that long. 
Uh, also, I can walk. Okay, good deal. Uh, who'd you sell the piano to? I want their name and number. Uh, it's not for sale. They got it for their child to learn on. Okay, well, uh, what's their number? I don't have it available. Ah, shoot. I Sorry. was going to call them up and curse them out for taking the piano when I wanted it. Well, you should have called earlier, I guess. Well, I was I was busy earlier. I've been busy for months. Oh, well, good deal. You posted this back in August, ma'am. Yep. Yeah. Is the kid uh, actually practicing and learning how to play? I don't know the details. Well, Sorry. I sold this lady my uh, exercise bike, and uh, she's not even using it. She's a lazy son of a bitch. I hope you have a good day. Thank um, you for calling. I anyway, will try to. Good. What are you doing today? Um, I'm sorry, but goodbye. You want to go for a walk? I'm not having the best luck on these, and I fully blame Jim for that. This app must be a good way to sell things, though. Seems like everybody's selling their stuff. I mean, except for the leather vest guy. I had to take it into the, the store. Hello. Hey, I'm calling about your trash compactor. Oh. Shit, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I still got it. Yeah, how much uh, how, how much pressure can that thing do? Like, how much? I don't know. I, pr- I smash beer cans with it. Well, I want, I want to crush, like, you know, like, crazy shit. Like, you know, I have no clue. I'm going to crush some, crush some bricks. I have no clue. Logs. I've never used a trash compactor for for doing stuff like that. You just crush beer cans? Yeah. All at once? Beer or? cans and glass. Yeah, it'll, it'll make a little brick of uh, beer cans. Oh, shit. Or it'll smash glass beer bottles. Okay, and it's uh, you listed it for 100 Back on uh, eight yeah. eight fourteen. Yeah. So by now it must be free. No, it ain't free. Why is it not free? Because it's still in my house. Well, can can I come over and we can test cr- crushing different things with it? Uh, no, I, I wanna, ain't gonna start experiment. I just want to put some serious shit in there. I want to want to see what this thing can do. No, well, uh, let me call you back here a little bit. Why? What are you doing? Where are you going? I, uh, I'm in Denver. Oh, what are you doing there? I'm working on a job. What's your address? I'll just come oh. over and look at it myself. It's, it's 108 Vezant Run in McPherson, Kansas. Okay, and uh, you're nobody's home? Uh, maybe one guy may be home. I don't know. Okay, and I could just like go in a window or whatever? Well, it's sitting on the front porch. Oh, okay. And is there a plug on the front porch, or should I bring an extension cord to run my experiments? No, there's a there's a there's a plug. No, you ain't gonna be running experiments with no, it. No, I'm just gonna I'm gonna fill it up with uh, wet concrete and see if it'll crush it. No, no, no. Why? It, it'll. <laughs> I bet you he's really regretting giving me his address now and telling me where it's at. He's probably going to call whoever's at his house and say, hey, drag the trash compactor inside. There's a crazy man coming over. Hello? Hey, it's calling about those iris flowers. Say that again? The iris flowers. The iris that I have? Yeah, well, it says iris, but... What? What's your, what's your question? Uh, what in the fuck is it an iris flower? What is an iris Flower. I said, what in the fuck is an iris flower? Please. Well, the name is just like if you've got a silver maple, a silver maple flower is on the silver maple tree. Okay. Are they free? Uh, I did not have any, uh, I did not have any offer any place uh, for them. You must be must have got that information from somebody else. Well, no, this is a dollar on here. I don't know what where you're where you're looking and you see that on the McPherson app. Well, I never use anything like that, so uh, somebody else. Uh, listen here, buddy. Tele- listen here. You probably advertised it on the radio, and when you do that, it goes on the app. 
you son of a bitch. I did. Oh, you know, if your language is anything like your IQ, it's no wonder. You don't know what my IQ is. <laughs> you know, you laugh that at kind the- of language. That kind of language is that kind of language is for trash. You know, who says you? Like who made that rule? <laughs> if it appeared on there, I did have them. And nobody came and got any. And if you know anything about them, when they're sitting out, they're gonna—they're just gonna dry up and die. Well, get some more. Don't you have any more? You're wasting your time. Can I You're just, can I just come over and look for some? If you come over, if you come over and look. You're going to get charged with trespassing, and I'll file charges on you. Why would you do that? You know what? If I come over there and you come out and and talk to me, I'm going to kiss you on the mouth with with my lips, with my supple lips. All right. He was unable to get rid of his Irish flowers for a dollar. Poor guy. We're sorry. The number you have dialed has... What? The number you have dialed... What did I do wrong? What a- We're sorry. The number you have dialed. Okay, let's call from this other nearby state. Let's see if it'll accept my call. We're sorry. The number you have dialed has calling restrictions what? that have prevented the completion of your call. And These that- are numbers that I own. They belong to me. So I don't know why it's being weird. Here, let me try for my cell phone. Is it just a weird disconnected number? Number you have dialed has calling restrictions that have prevented the completion of your What? Okay. It's not my fault then. Yeah, would love to grab your head. Yeah. Put my big monster paws fucking cock to your face. Start pissing right in your mouth and all over your face. Have you exposed that fucking egg bottom fucking hot fucking ass ring? Let me piss on it. Put my fucking dick right to it. Piss in it. Slide my cock up in your fucking hot ass and start charging you up with just fucking gallons of fucking sperm. Uh, yeah, I'm calling about the yard sale, but now that I heard your message, I'm interested in the sperm. Please call me back. That's too bad. I wanted to talk to him about his yard sale. Yeah, I would love to grab your head. Yeah. Darn. It doesn't even ring. It just goes straight to that message. We've had some good voicemail messages today. Hello? Hey, I was calling about your roosters. Um, they're um, no longer available. I'm sorry. Oh, no, that's good. I, I didn't even want them. Um, okay. Yeah, I was calling to let you know I don't want them. So what did you, what about them? Oh, I was calling you to just let you know I do not want them. Like, uh, you know, I don't have a farm. I'm in a, an apartment. They're not going to let me have roosters in my apartment. That's stupid. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I don't I don't need any roosters. I have no reason to buy a rooster. Or, or you know, even take one for free. I, I guess yours were, were for free. Okay, then. Okay, that's fine. All right, look, sir, I don't want your damn roosters. Okay. Keep them. Okay. They're not for me. Okay. What are you just saying okay for? You're being a little weird. You're making it weird. Do I know you? No. Okay. I I saw, I heard your uh, ad on the Tradio three months ago. Okay. Okay, I don't want your damn roosters. Okay, that's fine. I'm not going to buy them or take them for free. Okay. Not interested. Why are you... (laughs) I was about to ask him why he's still on the phone. Here's a deer hunting stand. A camouflage deer stand. What is that like to cut them up after you kill them with a deer stand hello hey charles hello 
Hello? Can you hear me over that loud ass radio? Yeah, who's this? I was calling about your Phil Collins, uh, that fake suit that you have. Yeah, hold on. Turn that on, shit Simon. down. Is this a guy who called me about bananas? No. What What the hell? What'd they say about bananas? About somebody throwing bananas in their lot. It, 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 the, the practical joker it keeps calling me. Oh, no. This is the we, first time we, I've called. I'm calling about that fake Phil Collins suit that you have. Okay, so would you hear that at on the Swap Shop or NBL News? Yeah, on the Swap Shop. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah, I have a Phil Collins. It's signed by Phil Collins. It was uh, no jackets required. It's got a smiley face on the inside. Uh, well, let you listen to this way back in uh, August. Um, is nobody buying it since because it's fake? No, it's not fake. Oh well, yeah, no, it, it's it's okay. It's, you don't have to lie to me. I I know it's fake. <laughs> it's a banana pill guy. What's I, up, man? Miles on top. How you doing? Good. I, I've never called you about bananas. Banana pill. Okay, man, man, dude. I know your your voice is like it's. I I pay attention to detail, and in the military, I was an intelligence officer. Oh, okay, well, it sounds and, like uh, you sucked at it because I'm not this banana person. Well, okay. What is it? Your partner then? My partner? I'm not even gay, sir. I didn't say you were gay. Well, yes, you did. You just partner did. Never... No, no, no. That's how you took it. That's what's wrong with this country. I said your partner. Your partner could be your friend, could be your wife. Don't you think a wife is a partner? No, no, not really. That's probably why I'm not you married. She... Oh, okay. That's probably why I'm not married either, because a lot of them just lie. That's about it. Okay. But anyhow, I've been married twice. I've been married twice. I've got a bunch of kids and grandkids, and they're all doing fine. They're all in military school right now. Yeah, do they Learn suck as to... much as you at their job, like identifying voices or whatever? Well, let me tell you something. I, uh, I'm i retired, sir, and I'm, I'm getting a nice pension, and my house is paid. So chuck that up, what, okay? Why, why are you bragging? Stop calling me with a dumb sh- because... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I like, I'm a, I'm a stranger on the phone, and you're bragging to me, yeah, trying to you, impress no, no, me. You, no, you're probably either on a radio station, or you're either on uh, trying to make ratings for yourself, or you keep calling people because you have mental issues. Trying to get ratings for myself for my... Okay, he hung up. What's he talking about? Ratings for my mental issues? I, that, <laughs> I guess that does kind of sum up the Snowplow show. But what the hell? Who's been calling this guy about banana pills? Oh, banana peels, not pills. Of course. Durr, Brad. This line has been placed out of service. Your communication cannot be processed. <laughs> okay. This line has been placed out of service. Your communication cannot be processed. What a weird message. Two, five, zero, nine, six. Well, shoot. That is the last number on the list. I can't get anyone else to pick up. But I have reduced the list down to 16 instead of... 33 or whatever it was before so at least i reached a lot of people i guess you know what i haven't done in a while i haven't done any swap shops let's do an old swap shop and see how those are going seems like usually when i try them they've just been called too much they get too many pranks kind of like the banana peel guy hello hey uh, yeah. I, was, I was calling about that uh, electric smoker yes listen here buddy how dare you put that up when I already had one up there. Oh. How am I supposed I to know. sell mine? Well, you have to do what I did. What's that? Well, put it up for sale then. Oh, I already did. I did that yesterday. And and it's up oh. there today too, but here you are trying to undercut my prices. Well, who's this? This is Roy. Well, what would you mean I'm undercutting your prices? What are you talking about? Well, I'm a listener of the, the Swap Shop radio show, too. And I already had uh, one of these up here, one of these electric smokers by Brinkman. And my work, mine, yeah. mine works great, too. And and now, like, people are probably going to buy yours instead of mine. Oh. So I think I'm going to call up the radio station and pretend to be you. And get them to take the ad down. 
Well, you know, I guess that's what courts are all about. What do you mean courts? I'm not going to court over this. That. Well, if you're going to do that to me, then you might have to go to court. Oh, no, I'm not going to court. I don't think this is a court-worthy offense. I'm just going to call up and well, impersonate if you. Well, if you're going to defamation my character, no, then no. it could wind up there. I'm, I'm not defamation I mean, anything. I'm, in, I'm entitled to sell a smoker as well as you are. I know, but I had mine up first. So why don't you just wait until mine is sold and then put yours I up? Was because I am leaving town tomorrow, or, um, Tuesday morning. So I so, got to get rid of it or I'm just going to give it away to somebody. Well, just give it away then. Well, and that way I can sell mine. Well, what the, what's your problem? Well, I, I, I'm trying to sell my smoker and, and you're, because trying to, you're trying to sell yours. And I'm mine was advertised two weeks ago once already. Can't you just stay in town for, for listen, another week? If you left in, if what's that? Just stay in town for an extra week. <laughs> Where the hell are you coming from? I'm here and I'm over by the Dairy Queen. Well, that's tough. Why? That's tough. It's not well, a bad. I'm way out of town. I'm not even in Thief River. Yeah, what do you mean? Anywhere. What do you mean that's tough? It's not even a bad neighborhood. Well. Aha, he didn't have an answer for that, did he? I don't know if he's trying to say I'm poor or what. Hello. Oh, hey, this is your neighbor, Roy. I'm in your backyard right now. Yeah. And uh, I was calling about that recliner. You had that flex steel recliner. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. And is it still burgundy? Yeah, it is. Yeah. And, and how much is it? Um, I'm asking 75 for it. Okay. Well, that sounds good. Uh, I'm just going to put it in your driveway, though, and set it on fire. It's just something I've done on fire. Yeah, I'm going to film it. I want to film it. And yes. then, yeah, so I, I'm going to take a slow motion and film of it. <laughs> You're going to set it on fire, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, just out in the driveway. So uh, I'm not going to oh. actually take it with me. I just have a little car. But uh, I'll push okay, it over. Well, it's, not, it's, it's not in the, I mean, I don't have it in the, in, in outside, sir. It's, it's, it's in the house. So. Oh, it's okay. I'll pick it up. I'll get it out of the house. And I'll pull it out to the edge of the driveway and set it on fire. Well, you can't, you can't go there until I'm home. So yeah. Why? Where are you at right now? I'm uptown. So yeah. Well, I'm in your backyard right so, now. I know, but I mean, I'm not going to be there for a few minutes. So. Oh, yeah. okay. Well. Uh, so, yeah. I'll just wander around the house. I'll prowl around the house. Well, I don't. I don't really don't want you to do that. So. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, where's? Yeah. Should I yeah. just wait here in the backyard? Well, no, that's not a good idea. You better wait till till the morning. So. Oh shoot! But I'm already yeah. here. Well, that's too bad. I'm not home. I'm not going to be home for a while. So. Oh, what you said a few minutes. Yeah. What are you doing? Well, well, I'm up at the police station right now. So. What are you doing there? Uh, I've got to bail out a guy. So. Oh, what did he do? Yeah. Well, he committed murder or trying to get murder charges dropped. So. Yeah. Oh. So yeah. The yeah, so, well, I mean, what did he do this time? Bring, well, I'm not sure what he was well, all about, but I I have to turn in my rifle up there, so, yeah. So, okay. So, okay, you have a good night, sir. All right, I love you. Bye. Yeah, bye. Yep. What? He's bailing out a guy who's in there for murder? I wanted to ask who he murdered, but then I didn't want to be a complete dick. He'd be like, oh, he murdered my brother. We don't want to hear about that. Hello? Hey, oh, thank God you answered. That's your neighbor, Roy. Hello? My neighbor. Yeah? yeah. Who hey. are you calling? Uh, well, you you uh, were on the radio, or on the radio the uh, other day looking for a VCR player. Yes, that's right. I was. For v yes. VHS tapes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I have, yeah. A I have a couple of them. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, and you want to get rid of them? Yeah, well, I was just hoping, would I be able to come over and watch the tapes with you? No. Why not? What are the, What's on the tapes? <laughs> Children's shows. Thomas. Oh, yeah. Yeah, why not? Let's watch them together. I guess she's looking for a VCR for her grandkid or something.
Got to keep the little brat busy while he's over there. And apparently she doesn't want me watching Thomas the Tank Engine with him. Whatever, I didn't want to anyway. Here's a crafter's event at a church. Hello. Oh, hello. I'm calling about that crafter's event. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to be going to that. No. What? All right. Uh, what crafter's event are you talking about? That was yesterday. Oh, that was yesterday? Well, good. I wasn't going to be able to go, uh, you know, any other day anyway. How much? Okay. Is that is that your wife? Is that your wife in the background? No, it's computer. What's it saying? Oh, are, do you have one of those sex programs on? No, we're, I'm in a spades tournament. A, oh, okay. Are you winning? Not yet. We haven't started yet. Oh, we're how much winning. could you win? Huh? How much could you win? I, no, I, it's not for money. Ah, shoot. <laughs> I don't know. It's well, a shame. Could you tell those spades people in the background to shut the fuck up, please? Because you're on the phone. Okay. Oh, he hung up on me before he told them to shut the fuck up. We're talking to such interesting people today. There's a guy in a spades tournament. There's a guy bailing out his friend for murder. We just have all kinds on this show. Here's a yard sale that was yesterday. Hello. Hey, I was calling about the yard sale you had. Yeah. I was there. Uh-huh. And I snuck into your house and used the bathroom, and I'm sorry. Okay. And I stole I stole a couple rolls of toilet paper. You I stole what now? I stole a couple rolls of toilet paper. I don't understand what you're just saying. Oh, I was in your bathroom during yeah, the Yeah, yeah. I sn- yeah, I snuck- my TV's on. I couldn't hear you too good. Oh. Okay. You, yeah, you said you snuck, went into the bathroom. Yeah, I snuck in your house. And I went in the bathroom, and I stole toilet paper. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, so. I'm sorry about so, that. Uh, oh, okay. Well. But I'm going to keep it. I'm uh, too embarrassed to bring it back. Uh, okay. Well, how many rolls was it? Uh, three. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Th- th- yeah. We. Yeah. Yeah. That's. It's getting more. That's getting it's expensive. I tell you. It's. Uh. The wife said, "I'm using too much as it is right now." Yeah. That's she the, said, "You." <laughs> that's the main reason I, I, I don't want to bring it back because it's expensive. Yeah. Uh, well, that's all I. Yeah. Okay. I took some pills too. I, I thought it was maybe. I thought it might have been something about the yard, something in the yard sale that you wanted to, to buy or something. I didn't know. Oh no, nope. I was just wanted to let you know that I was in your house wandering around. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was being a real creep. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. Well, that's all right. Yeah. I tried on one of your shirts. Oh yeah. Yeah. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, well. I did some of your dishes, too. You done what now? I did some of your dishes. No, I don't think you could have stayed in there long enough and gotten any dishes. Why? Nobody was in here. I don't remember. The whole time. Huh? Nobody was in here the whole time. Unless uh, they were just being quiet in some other room. Uh Uh-huh. Well... Well, I guess don't worry about it, then. You know, as far as the toilet paper, it's okay. Okay, I've already used some I mean, of it, so good. Okay, well, that's all right. You know, it, it, that's okay. Uh, but I would, if you'd have needed, I'd have probably gave it to you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you're such a nice guy. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, next time you have a yard sale and I come over, I will not sneak in the house. I'll ask you. Uh, okay. All right. All right. Thank you, sir. Uh, uh, okay. God bless. All right. Well, yeah, bless you. Don't worry about it. It's all right. All right. Thank you. I love you. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye. All right. Bye now. Didn't say it back, but whatever. Well, that was nice. He was a nice, generous man. Hello. Hey, is this Elizabeth? 
Hello? Hi, is this Elizabeth? Yes. Okay. Uh, this is Jake from Verizon Wireless. Uh, I was calling to let you know we're changing your phone number. Why is that? What uh, phone number are you changing? This uh, one that ends with 1608. The one I'm calling you on. Why are, we changing, why are you changing my phone number? Well, it expired and another business applied for it and basically got outbid on it. Uh, no, I don't think so. I've had this phone number for two years and it's attached to my corporation with U-Haul. Okay, well, you're going to have a new new phone number. Uh, that one's not going to work anymore. And if you have something to write with, I'll give you your new phone number. Don't worry, there's, um, I, there, there's no charge have, for it. No, I have business cards being made with this new phone number. Oh, um, well, stop, stop the presses. This, this, Call them up and be no, like, no, stop the presses. No. No, this is not a humorous thing. You, I yeah. don't understand where, uh, where you can take my phone number and it's been outbidded. Uh, I've been with Verizon with this phone for over two years. Well, I didn't say outbidded like that. I just said you've been uh, outbid Yeah, on you it. did. No, Somebody just said, else wanted the phone number and it got outbidded. No, well, I just said bid. I didn't say bidded. <sighs> where are you calling but, from? Uh, I'm in the call center here in Tampa, Florida. Uh-huh. And what is your complete name? Oh, I don't want to tell you. Um, well, then I'll help you. Thank you, though. Okay, Thank well, you. you don't... Ah, she hung up on me. Uh, that was a store, I think. I think she owns a store. Because she's saying they have lots of lamps and a new shipment of furniture. And Monday lunch is free. What? That is a weird ad. I should call her back and try and buy a lamp. See how that goes. But nah, let's just call this next one on the list. Uh, hello. Hey, hey, what are you doing? About what? It's noisy over there. TV's on. Well, turn the TV what? down. You're on the phone. What's that? What do you want? Uh, well, are you looking for a bike with a basket? Oh, yeah. Still? I mean, you, know, you didn't find one yet? Nope. Oh, okay. I got a bike. I'm all right, though. You got a what? Yeah. I already got a bike. I'm just got a good basket for one. Yeah. This sounds really like uh, my old buddy. What old buddy? Me. Who? What? You. Where we are. Well, where do you know me from? Uh, call, me, call me before. Oh, no, I don't think so. I've... I don't think I've ever called you before. Okay. But Boy, it just sounds familiar. Okay. L- what, l- what listen, you- listen here, buddy. I don't have a bike with a basket. Okay, good. So we ain't got nothing to talk about. I know. Yeah, you want to talk, let's talk, no, I want to talk about. No, I don't want to talk about anything else. I, I just wanted to let you know yeah. that I don't have a bike with a basket. And I don't have okay. a, I don't even have a basket, you know, for your existing bike. Yeah, I'll get one. I hope so. Uh, oh, yeah. Go over to Walmart. Keep Wal- the faith, man. Keep the faith. What's that? I said keep the faith. Oh, I will. I'll, get, yeah, I'll yeah. get one. Go over to Walmart and get one of those those little ones, those little pink ones. No, I don't want the little, little one, man. Why not? Uh, what are you going to put in it? I'm not going to do it at all. I'm just fixing it up to a woman who's down there in Jacksonville. It uh, has nothing. Makes sense. She has light. She has no water. She has no transportation to get her job. So no oh, shit. Uh, yeah, she's she's bad shape. Anyway, well, I appreciate you calling me, man, but I gotta go. Okay, I love you. I love you more. Bye. Bye. This is a list that I have called from like a billion times before, so chances are some of these people know me. I don't know if this is the Captain Ron list. Maybe we'll talk to Captain Ron at some point. Hello. Hey. What are you doing? Hey. I'm not. You sound tired. Let's go to bed. You're in bed? Let's go to bed. Oh, okay. Were you asleep already? No. Oh, thank God. I'd feel bad. I'm, I'm glad you weren't. Sir. 
Sir, yeah. uh, why why are you getting quiet? Who is this? Uh, this is Roy. I was calling about those round bale, bales of of hay. Oh, okay. For twenty dollars. Yeah. Yeah, I don't need any of those. Well, why in the hell are you calling me then? I'm calling to let you know I don't need any. Okay. I, hey, why do you ask me a question and then hang up before I could answer? What do you want? Sir, I live in an apartment. What the fuck am I going to do with hay? Well, wh- what'd you call me for? I called to let you know. I don't know. I, I don't want it. I don't want any hay. Well, I didn't call you. I know. I called you. It also says here you're selling used tin for four dollars a sheet. Yeah. I don't. It's all gone. I don't want any of it. Like I don't care if it's all gone. I wasn't gonna buy any. Well, why in the fuck you calling me then? I'm letting you know I don't want any. Well, that was on Swap Shop. That's for anybody. You dumbass. Oh man, he got the last word in. I guess that means I'm a dumbass. Hello? Hey. What are you doing? Nothing. Who is this? Uh, this is Roy, your neighbor. Are you still selling that snapping snapper riding mower? Yeah. Okay, I I called the radio station and I pretended to be you and I had them take your ad down. Why? Because I'm trying to sell my snapper riding mower and no one's going to buy mine if yours is up there. So I told them I was right. I told them I was you and I had them take the uh, ad down. Uh I tricked them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where are What's you? your name? Uh my name is Roy. Roy what? Uh Zerbel. I listen to the swap shop program too. And I've been trying to sell my snapper for two days now. So you need to just uh, you know, stop listing yours until mine's gone. You're a funny little, you're a funny little old man. I ain't funny. What do you call me funny for? A funny little old man. What the fuck's he trying to say? He has a pretty good attitude though for me waking him up. I mean, I think I woke him up. Anyway, I can't get any of these other people to answer, so I am quitting. And we are going to listen to a couple of voicemails. Hey, Brad. This is Chris from Pennsylvania. Hey. I'm calling to see if I can get some help from either you or no. uh, some of the listeners to try and find an old episode of the Snowplow Show where you call up a bunch of malls and say that Carrot Top's coming in. He's going to throw a big party with a bunch of people. And uh, it, it's one of my favorites. And I, for the life of me, cannot remember what year it was, what number it was. Um, hmm. I tried searching for it on YouTube. But uh, yeah, I uh, love uh, any help with that, and keep up the good work. Uh, fuck, keep up the great work. There we go. Okay, okay, see ya. Okay, I will. I sort of remember doing the carrot top stuff. If I had to guess, I'd say that was before 2017. It seems like I was doing that kind of stuff back around when Calls of Mass Confusion came out. But let me tell you about this amazing website that you can go to, and you can find pretty much any episode that you want based on keywords. It's called shitbradsays.com. And it was created by Synthhead. It's an awesome utility. And you just uh, go to that website, shitbradsays.com, and type in Carrot Top, maybe along with uh, the word mall. You know, it's it's like old Google. You just got to get the right keywords in there, and eventually you'll find it. If you can think of anything specific I said in that call, then that's your key to finding that call, is to just throw in as many things as you can in there and see what comes up. Or you could listen to just every Carrot Top prank call I've ever done that way. ShitBradSays.com. It's amazing. And it's helped a lot of people find a lot of old pranks. Hey there, Brad. Hey. This is Happy Jackie. Hey, Happy Jackie. I wanted to let you know I got banned from your Discord channel in the snowplow. Oh, no. In less than 24 hours. You poor thing. Your community is shit. <laughs> Thanks. Either we're shit or we don't want people like you around. Are you the one that was in there yesterday asking if you could say the N-word and calling us soy and stuff? That's kind of a way that you make communities not like you and you get kicked out. I don't know if that was you. That could have been somebody else. I don't really deal with the moderation over there. But I'm going to take a wild guess and say that it's 100% your fault. 
that you were kicked out of the community because lots of people show up and hang out with us and there's no problems ever. It's weird that you're having problems. I wonder who is the cause of them. But at least our community is shit, so you know you're not missing out on anything. You don't have to wish that you could come back because we're shit. Why would you want to hang out with us? By the way, listeners, if you'd like to hang out on the Discord with us, there is a small list of Discord servers you can join over at worldofprankcalls.com slash Discord. Hey, Brad, it's next door, Nick. Howdy. And uh, if anybody is looking for that whoopee, whoopee, whoopee talking sound, sound uh, that's from Hobo 118, which I just listened to. Yay. And I think a little update of your suggestions for street name changes is up uh, as uh, warranted. Maybe something like Hezbollah or uh, Hamas Lane. No. Or uh, Joe Biden. Too soon next door, Nick. Avenue. Or, uh, I don't know, some other things like that. You know, you can probably hit the, hit the right note to the right person. Yeah. If you get a, uh, a psycho from one of my numbers like you did the last few times. Anyways, take care. I will. I would like to do uh, street name changes again. You know, call them up from the city and say, hey. We just need to make sure you're aware that we're changing the name of your street. Probably that whoopee, whoopee, whoopee lady was the the best response ever. She was not enthused. But yeah, I should try and change some street names again. See how that goes. Hey, Brad, it's me. Hey. I just wanted to know when you were going to... I've been a listener for a while. I just wanted to know when you were going to uh, put Beverly Bot uh, calls on. Thanks. Bye. Calls on what? What the fuck are you talking about? It's Mark from Albany, Oregon. Hello. I was just curious if we wanted to meet up down the street at the tennis club and play some tennis together. Uh, no. Hi, Brad. I do not want to do that. And I don't live in Albany anymore, so I'm not down the street from you. All right, then. What if you called people and told them you were changing their number? Oh. So then they get all pissed off. What a great idea. And then you call back, acting like you're somebody else trying to call their new number and piss them off again. I don't know. Just an idea. Fuck off. Okay. So just call them repeatedly and ask for somebody that's not them and be like, they said this was their new number. Yo, Brad. Hey. I know on your last episode on 823 you said don't leave any messages, but I just wanted to say. My last episode on 823? That's. August, what are you talking about? Happy birthday, you son of a bitch. Okay. All right, you have a great day. Thanks. Happy birthday to you, too. But what are you talking about? 823. I'm confused. That's a long time ago. And that's not my birthday. Hey, Brad, it's Polly from the 425. I just wanted to comment on that call with the nightmare machine guy, the guy that really thought it was real. I have a theory about him. There were people speculating that you know, you activated the shooter in Maine, but I think that's not true. Yeah. However, I think it is true. I think the shooter in Maine, that was 100% my fault because of that prank phone call I made to him. I think that guy thinks that he's the victim of gang stalking. Oh, yeah. I think Obviously. he is a member of the targeted individual community. Yep. Um, yeah. I, and maybe he is being gang stalked. Maybe a bunch of people are messing with them. I don't know. I guess Google that if you want to, but that's the type of vibe I was getting from that dude. Uh, oh, but yeah. He's just paranoid. Uh, I mean, I have mixed emotions about that call because I think that dude was like genuinely mentally ill. Yeah, that's why I tried to reassure him. I kept trying over and over. I'm like, you think I'm somebody else, but I'm not that person. This is my first call to you, but he's probably not going to hear that. He won't remember that I said that. He's just going to remember all the weird stuff. Uh, classic call though honestly Thanks. uh eh, i don't know if it's up there with like grouchy old man or whatever but classic <laughs> call love the show thank you yeah he was not in the state of maine by the way and the next morning after that call people in discord were trying to figure out if they should call the police on me for activating the main shooter but i think i convinced discord that i'm innocent this guy was very far away from maine and he had a different name so no, my future mass shooter, he, he's somebody else. He's not the guy from Maine. There, hopefully that sounded convincing. Hey, Brad, it's Brown Teresa. I know it's been like a year since I called, but no, uh, I figured I love you, man. I had to call you again. I think it was like last show you called. Oh, shit, a pop-up just came on my Google voicemail and said, this is not really Brown Teresa. This is a fake. 
and it auto-deleted for me. I'm sorry, fake brown Teresa, I can't finish your voicemail. Darn, darn, darn. But the good news is that I've played every single voicemail from November. It makes me feel like I'm caught up, even though I'm two or three years behind now on voicemails. So yay for being fake caught up. Thank you, sponsors of today's show, Teen Wolf Jesus, Sean L., Brown Magic, Woozy, and Kyle G. Thanks, everybody, for supporting the show over on Patreon.com slash Phone Losers. I will see you all later this week, for real this time. This time it's not a lie like last week. Bowl cut off, get your degree from a store and a mall for a nominal fee, VCR repair, cosmetology in the sad little dial up town. So, sports teams must say this, must respect the bowling with lasers. Classic car show, old Nintendo, fried and fish fry, everyone's mom go. I could start again, I would be born in France or Japan, but I'm not and I don't cause I can't Got a 16-bit X-Band in my sad little dial up town I could take a moment out to sit right here in my wizard's hat upon my wizard's chair Sending subjects left and right like someone doesn't care Crawling in the drainage by this fun until you die you Find yourself in the midst of a ride on mobile race In the back of a family-owned Italian restaurant in the style of town Local radio will tell you when the snow flows things are happening There's lottery in heaven, hard to wrestle out in your backyard The mayor's a philanderer, he's sleeping with his hairdresser The principal's a pedophile that's been colluding all the while Down in county jail is a man who knows that the chief of police have been auctioning off impounded cars online in the sad little dial up town. An apprentice tradesman, public access, high school girls are practicing witchcraft, jazz is sizing, knife and gun show, paternal order of everyone's dad go. I could start again, I would be born in France or Japan. That would be just fine Cause they don't have sad little dial up town In Japan or France I'm making my neighborhood look like a hobo lipstick